Hi everybody and welcome back to What's Happening at the Library in September. I'm Sarah. And I'm Elizabeth. We have full calendar, full calendar. of activities happening at the library. Yep. We're back into the school swing. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and I think our most notable, well, you know, kind of a, a library specific activities are our Band Books Week, which yes. is in September. And that's which, pretty near and dear to libraries everywhere and library employees and supporters of the library. Yeah. And it kind of just celebrates the freedom to read. So. Um, the title is a little confusing. We mm -hmm. do have that. People are like, wait, you're celebrating banning books? And we're like, no, no, no. What we're doing is celebrating reading banned books. So books that like To Kill a Mockingbird or the Harry Potter series mm -hmm. or um, actually the Bible is the most banned book ever. Um, so those kind of books that have been questioned and people say don't read these, we encourage people to actually read books that are banned. Expands the mind. It's it, a, um, and it you know, ties into your First Amendment, which it does. is to publish and read yeah. any materials. Yeah. And so we're, we're fervent supporters of yes. the freedom to read. And so the library is going to have some activities going on. We're going to have some band of book displays. So we encourage you to come and check those out. I know Wright Branch is doing like a Read Squared Band Book Challenge. Yes, that's cool. So if you live in Wright, sign up for that. And then the more you can get the full list of titles and you can read one and, and um, compete against other people that are reading it. So for prizes and stuff. Yeah. So that'll be fun. So that'll be the 18th through the 24th of September. Yeah. So we're also doing um, a bunch of like Harry Potter themed Yay. stuff because we're all Crowd massive favorite. Harry yeah. Potter fans. Um, so we have a couple different ones. So we're doing another Read Square Challenge. This is in, at the Gillette Library. Um, so you can sign up, and when you sign up, you get assigned to a house. So if you've taken the Pottermore quiz, or if you know what your house assignment is, or we'll have some links on there that if you've never done that before, you can take a little quick quiz and it'll mm -hmm. tell you which house you're in. It'll sort you into your house. And then all the houses compete against each other. So you'll be reading with your other Gryffindors or Hufflepuffs or Slytherins or Ravenclaws and then the, each house that went, reads the most will win the prize. So that'll be super fun. So that starts September 1st and runs all the way to the end of October. Um, but you can sign for that up. If, you, if you've done our Read Squared challenges before, it'll just be an available option. If not, you can come in or check our website for instructions to sign up for that. Um, we're also doing an escape room and this is kind of family, so older, so like fourth grade to adult. We're doing a family escape room on September 1st uh, from four to eight, and it's all Harry Potter themed. So the better you know Harry Potter, <laughs> the better you'll be at escaping. They were some, some of the hard room. questions they the were. first time we did it. They it was, were. It was a challenge, but man, there are some well-versed Harry Potter fans out there. Yes, so, <laughs> so that's up. a lot of fun. So get a team and come on out for that. Um, and then we are going to do, um, a couple of our craft classes are going to have um, crochet a house scarf. We're going to do some wand making. Uh, we're going to do some movie night, Harry Potter movie nights, and then wrapping it all up in October. So next month, we're going to be doing a Harry Potter trivia night again. We did that, I don't know, four or five years ago. Very and it popular. was amazing. We had so much fun. So check all a calendar out for all the Harry Potter things going on in September and October. Yeah, and September brings our annual uh, book sale. Yes. So the Friends of the Library book sale begins early shopping. If you're a Friends, a Friends of the Library is September 20th from 5 to 830. If you're not a friend, you can sign up that night to become a Friends and enter the book sale then. And then it's open to the public that Wednesday, September 21st through Friday, September 23rd. And it's during regular hour, hours the book sale is. And then bag day is Saturday, September 24th through Monday, September 26th. So fill a bag for five bucks. And we have so much stuff this year. So. Yeah, please come check it out. Take, yeah. take these books. They're in good condition. We just have to make room in our library for the new yeah. stuff. And so, so and then come help. <clears throat> a lot of these books are donations from the community. So somebody cleaning out their mm -hmm. book collection or something, they don't want to you know, throw it away or people in their family don't want it. They also bring it to the library. So it's our weeding list and it's also the community's donated titles. Yeah. So lots there's of, a lot of good stuff this year. A lot of cool stuff in there. Um, another thing that the children's department's doing at the Gillette Library is a come and learn your library fair. Mm -hmm. So that, I'm really excited about this. This is September 21st um, at 2.30. <clears throat> it's a Wednesday, so I'm guessing it's an early release if it's yeah. at 2.30. Um, so they were encouraging you to come in. They'll, the staff will give you tours of the children's department. Um, so parents come in with your kids. Kids, parents come in and, and take this tour and see all the resources that the children's department can help you guys with for school, for entertainment, for anything that um, you need it. Yeah, 
And the third annual car show is coming back to the yes. library. The Ride and Read Car Show is Saturday, September 24th, 10 to 2.30, with the Classic Car Check-In at 9 to 10. Um, and it's sponsored by Campbell County Classics and Customs, along with the library. And so it's usually a full day of events. There's usually some booths out there and, of course, the car show. And it's during the last day of our book sale. So come to the book sale, come to the car show, and yeah. show some love to your library. <clears throat> it's a lot of fun. They have food trucks and mm -hmm. face painting, usually, and all kinds of fun things for That's every good time. people of all ages. Yes. So um, we're also doing genealogy assistance again on September 7th. So this is kind of a drop-in program. You drop in, if you have questions, we have um, staff members there to show you our resources at the library or show you other places that we partner with um, that can help with some genealogy research. So that's Wednesday, September 7th at six o'clock. And the Regional Author Fair is coming Saturday, September 10th. And the workshop is led by Paige Lambert and she is doing a two hour workshop that is 10 to 12 on Saturday, September 10th. And she, her take on the workshop is gonna be writing from your gut. So it's writing with feeling and emotion rather than, you know, fleshing out the character plot. And so I think that'll be kind of a different type of workshop. And the keynote speaker is James Chandler. So he's a Wyoming based best-selling author under the pen name, um, Paul Phillips. And he's read, yeah. written several best-selling books. And so he's coming, you can buy autographed copies of his books. So think, Think Christmas ahead gifts. Christmas. <laughs> That's what I always do. Gifts for, you know, for any time. Yeah. And so he's being generous enough and he's donating all his proceeds to the Library Foundation. So that's, that's... That's awesome. That's really great. That's awesome. The Library Foundation, we've talked about this before, um, any proceeds that they earn or make or any donations to them go towards supporting um, collections. They go to supporting staff training. Um, they mm -hmm. bring in authors. So like when CJ Box comes or, or Craig Johnson or any of those, Library Foundation is the one that supports yeah. bringing them in. So um, the Library Foundation is a great organization that really supports, They're a great support really supports us. us at the mm -hmm. library. So we're grateful for them. So we also have, you know, our normal slate of things, tech classes. We have email basics and green screen editing. So nice. the library has a green screen. Um, we have video editing capabilities. We have a sound lab. Um, so any of those kind of technology things that you were like, how do I get my hands on mm -hmm. that? The library has it all and it's for free. So just come book a time. Um, but if you're kind of like, how do I do that? Um, we have a class right here, green screen editing, <laughs> and it's it's in the Harry Potter theme, so I'm they're going to have some costumes <laughs> in there, and then we do a little bit of a thing. Yeah. So that'll be fun. So that's so email basics is September 14th, and green screen editing is September 28th, um, both at 5:30. So come check that out. Yeah, and some of our other programs that we typically offer throughout the year is Medicare 101. So that's Thursday, September 29th at 7 p.m. And then our volunteer reference attorney is Thursday, September 1st from 2 to 4. So really great programs if you're not sure how to wade through the waters of Medicare or legal things, this is a great program to attend. Yep, yep. great. And we also have our book club um, on September 20th, so you can pick up um, your books at the reference desk and come out in and uh, discuss them with us. Yeah, lots going on in the month of September, so um, come check out our website, ccpls.org or our Facebook page, and stay up to date. Yeah. We'll see you next month. Bye.